Okay, today is May the 7th, 2016, and we're watching the Eastern East Pacific Water Vapor Loop. And right here we have a, a very large thunderstorm that is being uh, blown apart right here. And we can see the, the uh, shock wave pretty much all the way around that system. And uh, we're going to take a look at this. Uh, let's go to the... Uh, Next, we'll see the uh, infrared loop, the uh, rainbow loop. You can see all the diminishment in the core of that system and also the blast pattern all the way around. Okay, let's take a look next at the, uh, the visible light mode because this is really interesting. We have, you can see the overlays where they've tried to uh, hide their work also. Over here, they've been working on these uh, thunderstorms too. So we're going to take a look at all that. We're going to advance through this uh, slowly. We'll, uh, you can already see a blast pattern developing right here on that first hit, which they've hidden with the overlay, the photoshopping, the uh, fluorescent overlays. You can see that blast develop. Okay, now as the daylight hours sweep by here, we can see all these pock marks, all these little craters. Now, this is amazing because there's a whole lot of these. And as we go to the next frame, watch how these uh, get a little bit bigger. Right, little craters right here, here. But this is the main one we want to keep an eye on. This is the real telltale sign. Let's just back this up. And then watch the next frame. We see that big crater right there. And then when they, they hit it again, uh, right here, there's two little craters. And then this is the previous blast right here, this larger crater, and down here as well. Over here we can see several others. And these all take place pretty much within uh, one frame, one or two frames. And also over here they're hitting uh, storms over here. There's little crater marks all through here. That's the big one there. Look at that. See a big crater right there. Just go back and forth on this and you can see the progression. So that's where the, uh, this is probably, I, I keep mentioning microwave and, and laser, but with laser, you cannot control the power level. Whereas with the microwave, you know, you can, uh, you can control the power level. A laser is either on or off. <clears throat> Every laser can be made to have certain power levels, but uh, microwave, you can, you can, um, more easily tailor the power to the, to suit the job at hand. And I think that's what they're using. That's what I believe they're using. But this is a great example, so I wanted to get this up on the uh, up on YouTube before too much time goes by. So let's just run this. And you can really see the uh, what happens after they target these storms. We have the crater and then uh, that ring that expands out, that's the shock wave from the superheated uh, water vapor. And then the storm just collapses. So if we go back and watch this again in the, uh, the water vapor loop, we can see the progression. This is all deep purple way down here on the scale, magenta, which is a very uh, severe uh, thunderstorm system. So they are killing that off, and also they're hitting these other ones as well. But this is the this is the one that they really hit hard, that large pockmark that we saw in the uh, visible light mode.
So apparently their team of, of Photoshop employees is not, are not, uh, they don't have a, a big enough team to uh, hit every one of these frames, to uh, work on every frame. They, they covered their tracks on a few of these, but not every one of them. So we can see that uh, they did hide some of their work, but not all of it. Watch over here, they're targeting all of these as well. And these are the storms that eventually will uh, brew into uh, disturbances and then uh, tropical storms and then hurricanes. So we're going to watch all this very carefully and see what happens uh, this season. Because last season we had a, a lot of hurricanes. There was just a, a record number of them. Not only a record number of hurricanes, but uh, a record number of simultaneous major hurricanes in the East Pacific. I think there was uh, three or four at one time. I think there was three major hurricanes, but there was also another, there was a fourth one that had been uh, targeted and uh, was uh, also in the uh, collection out there, but that was quite a year last year, so we'll have to see what they do. Let's go take a look at the, uh, this is the western uh, U.S. water vapor loop. We can see that pinwheel of low pressure still spinning over the uh, California, Nevada, Arizona area. Now, last night we were watching this. I couldn't figure out what was going on there, but this is actually a separate area of low pressure that's trying to spin up. So. Last night we were watching that. It was up over here, and this has been winding around, but they're, they've got a transmitter on that, and that is a, a preventing this little area here from spooling up. This is trying to spin up by itself into a uh, low pressure, separate low pressure system. And we have this developing gale out over here. And we've got high pressure all in this area. You can see the clockwise rotation. Also, there's not much uh, weather getting into Southern California. It's all drying up, as we can see. It's all evaporating. All this moisture is just disappearing once it gets out here in the uh, Pacific. All right, let's look at the uh, Northeast Pacific. We can get a big picture here at a developing gale. And also, there's a lot of thunderstorms now starting to uh, brew down here. Along, uh, put the grid on here. This is well south of Hawaii. We've got Hawaii right at 20 degrees north. So this is down at right in the 10 degree uh, north latitude right along here. So things are starting to happen down here because of all that warm water. And the season is changing. All right, let's look at the East Coast real quick. We can see the, uh, that low pressure has been squashed. There's not a whole lot left of it. And this is starting to move away. <coughs> we have uh, severe thunderstorms down here. And a separate new system that's uh, diving down over the uh, Great Lakes area. Right here, we can see that. So things are starting to move now. This is going to be moving away. And we also have something else uh, right. Well, that's part of that uh, same low right over the uh, west coast. But, uh, there's other things going on right here. We'll keep an eye on all this and uh, do another update probably tomorrow. Okay, that's it.